Spring has definitely sprung, and Kim Forn from Geranium Lake is here to show us how you can make some actually inexpensive but absolutely beautiful tablescapes. This yeah, is gorgeous. Yeah, I, I set um, three tables today, kind of some glam, some rustic, some vintage. Um, this one is our excuse to drink a lot of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Get those wine bottles out of the recycling bin and just wash off the labels. Yeah, so what I did is I just washed off the labels, got the, bin, the, the bottles out of the recycling bin and um, filled them with double daffodils, always double daffodils. charming and happy. Yeah. Um, I just clustered a bunch of votives, and if you cluster them kind of behind, it makes, behind the bottles, it makes them glow. It so it looks like they're almost illuminated from the inside, and um, I don't know, it shows the stems and it's gorgeous. And this is simple. I, I think anyone can do this. Yes, And the wheatgrass, where do you get that? Well, I got my wheatgrass at uh, Fred Meyer's, but they sell it all over at big box grocery stores, you know, new seasons, okay. any place. Um, it was $1.99. Wow. Seriously, I just took it out of the little <laughs> plastic thing and pink. Wow. So you can really uh, do this table in 10 minutes or less. I've Absolutely. got my little burlap runner that I actually uh, purchased the burlap at a landscaping company and oh. just uh, sewed the edges and made some runners. Which you wouldn't even have to do. You could leave it raw if you wanted. Yeah, I did wash it because it did have that kind of, I don't know, creosote or what is that? Smell. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. smelled like a railroad tie. Right. Not so. pretty. <laughs> now it smells wonderful, and you have the, the pretty candles. You could even do scented if you wanted, but you don't really need to. Yeah, the only issue is it is a little tall. So uh -huh. you have to position your bottle so I can see your head okay. when I'm looking across at you at the table, and I want to see your Hope Diamond. So I yeah. want to make sure that, you know, your whole face is um, available for me to talk with. Does that make sense? Now, could you do this as a background for a buffet as well? Yeah, and that's why I didn't set it today. I thought it would be a good entry piece, yes. um, you know, like a sofa table, something like that. Yeah, awesome, Kim. All right, let's check out the next one. Okay. And I don't know why, but this one is my favorite. You think it's because there's a little bling here. It, like, attracts you. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's elegant. It's sophisticated. It's loose. You know, I don't know. It's everything that we want, like simple elegance, really. It's very eclectic. You went ahead and combined silver and brass and, and these gold votives. You just yeah. threw it all in there, and it looks terrific. How yeah. do you do that, Kim? <laughs> um, it's just a mismatch, kind of, you know, I decided that I wanted rustic glam. So I was like, how do I do that? Um, so I got some cherry blossoms. I got some kind of loose stems, herbs, branches. I even included um, a couple real nests. That's so and pretty. And just kind of uh, put some big fat garden roses in there. So it kind of looks like peonies because peonies are not quite out yet. Right. Now tell me about these chargers. chargers. Yeah, they're chargers. And um, basically I made them. And they're a piece of birch that we cut with a paper cutter. <laughs> Um, 12 by 12 inches square and um, sometimes they don't lay really flat. We actually bought this I think in Minnesota on eBay. Nice. <laughs> and, um, but this heavy plate keeps it down yeah. flat and it yeah. looks great. Yeah, it looks great and then you can go ahead and set your napkin, put a piece of rosemary. We put a piece of myrtle. Um, nice. You know, you can put a little place card. You can put a little glop of moss there. So the flowers are all really textural, loose, but right. um, uh, lots of petals. I put a succulent on the table. I ended up uh, picking a Rex begonia leaf from one of our, our uh, plants. plants. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Um, I spray painted some pods gold that were left over. So pretty much this is kind of just stuff that I had. So I didn't go out and buy anything. I just kind of used what I had. And um, the key is making it look full. Yes. I love the rustic glam look. Okay, we have one more look. Let's check it out. Okay. Kim, I'm not sure what you call this look, but I'm going to call it fragrant. <laughs> it we called it adorable here. vintage. Adorable vintage. That yeah. works. That definitely works. Now, what did you do here to bring this look together? Um, well, this was really super simple. Um, most of the stuff is kind of old and um, came out of my cupboards or my grandma's cupboards. <laughs> um, all the flowers, except for the ranunculus, were grown in my own yard. Ah. So I went out and picked camellias. Um, I picked these daffodils, the frizzle tulips. Frizzle tulips. I love those. They're yeah. so pretty. Um, the little grape piacin. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's really pretty. And, it is. Um, you Delicate. know, there's also a movement not to use uh, 
flower foam so much, so I put a little... Old-fashioned Yeah, frog. like a, a frog. Yeah. It's made out of some sort of lead, um, and then I just stuck the little stems in there and filled it with water. It's something, a technique they use for Ikebana, too, like, you know, to have the stems. You know, it makes it look really light. That's what I like. Yeah, open, not, a, uh -huh. not too tight, you know, yeah. The aprons are the classic touch on these chairs. They're so cute. Well, a lot of times we spend so much energy on our tables that we forget about our chairs. Yeah. So what I did is I found these at a thrift store and um, I'm not sure what kind of material they are, but just little aprons. And then I went ahead and just tied them on the back of the chairs. Um, if you were super, you know, Martha on yeah. steroids, you would put a little hostess gift in here oh, filled with shortbread cookies nice. or maybe a place card or you know something like that it would that be is super such cute. a cute idea yeah but really simple um, I used oil cloth as a runner mm -hmm. this is something that I got at the fabric store for like two dollars a yard and um, it's what I use on my uh, picnic tables in the summer I made little chargers I got some polka dotted cups and I don't know and you pulled it together. That's what you would do, yeah. Kim. You're the best at it. <laughs> you have to say the word adorbs. Adorbs. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. All right. There's three tablescapes for you for the spring. Everything looks so beautiful and so easy, as Kim puts it. She can always help you at Geranium Lake if you need a little help pulling something together. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Kim.